What's up everybody? Eric here, Classic Wax Sports Cards. Today's video is a little bit different. Actually, it's a lot different. This is just going to be a preview of my premium product that we're coming out with with Classic Wax Sports Cards. This is our second premium limited batch. Uh, the first one was a huge, a huge hit. We did Ricky Henderson rookie cards. There was a... Um, about six Ricky Henderson rookie cards, I believe, that I put into packs. Uh, we did a, just a limited short run of 12 boxes. I'm doing the same thing here. This is just kind of for my, you know, people that are really into vintage cards, um, that really love to rip these repack products, uh, trying to constantly bring you new and fresh ideas. And uh, this is what I came up with to basically come out with a uh, checklist of type of... Uh, release where if you go on our website you'll be able to see all of the um the major hit cards here and which what, what you're going to have for as far as odds for pulling those from the packs um again we're going to do 12 boxes uh try to do these once every month i didn't get to it last month so um in april uh in march we did the ricky henderson chase and this one's pretty awesome too um this one's going to feature four ryan sandberg rookie autographs and we'll go ahead and show you those cards right now so these are the big hit cards for this next batch as you can see here i've got this pile of uh 71s here they're in pretty nice shape too they're all going to be going in there i know people love 71s and there's some stars and semi stars in here but um those will be those will be in every box as well but these are the big stars. These are the big hits. You got a really, really nice looking Ryan Sandberg rookie auto here. Now these first three were all gotten, they were all obtained in spring training back in the 90s. Another one in red ink, really sharp looking. And these cards are in great shape. This is, um, this one's a little off center, but as you can see, really good shape. Another one in red ink. His 83 Fleer. And then this last one here was obtained through the mail. Opeachy. Don't see too many of these. And that's a pretty darn nice looking Opeachy too. It's well centered. Then we've got, keep the hits going here. Willie Mays. Now one of these cards, you're going to get one of these in every box. There's 12 cards here that I'm featuring. So one of these, these are the hit cards in each box. You got a 69 Maze. You've got a 58 Aaron All Star. Or excuse me, 68. I'm sorry. 68 Aaron All Star. We've got a 68 Pete Rose. We've got a 71 Pete Rose. 71 Ernie Banks. 73 Clemente, and a, night, a really clean looking 1960 Warren Spawn. Now on top of just those, there's going to be all kinds of stuff in here. If you, if you got the last one, you know what I mean by that. Here's sort of the, here's another tier. This is another pile of rookies. You're going to, there's 12 cards right here. You're going to get one of these in every box. You got a Jim Rice rookie card. You got Frank Robinson from 66. You've got a second year, 74 Mike Schmidt. 72 Tom Seaver. 73 Tom Seaver. 74 Tom Seaver. Got a 72 Yastrzemski in action. You got a 71 Jim Palmer. You got a 73 Jim Palmer. 74 Jim Palmer. You got a 74 Fisk and an eight, a 76 Pete Rose. So that's just to give you an idea of some of the next level of stuff that you'll be getting in these as well. Then you're going to have every box will include one of these 1951 Bowman cards. Clyde McCullough, Del Rice. Some of these are rookies. And they're in pretty good shape. There's no creases in these. 
for 51 Bowmans, these are pretty nice looking. Cliff Fannin. That's a John Berardino rookie card. Beautiful cards. Absolutely love those. So there's going to be one of those in every box. There's also going to be one of these in every box. Keeping with the theme of how we normally do a lot of oddball stuff in my... Um, in our normal classic wax boxes, you're, you're normally going to find stuff like Kellogg's cards and um, things of that nature. I've never put Hostess cards in there, but we're going to do it on this one, and we're putting some good ones. That's a Dennis Eckersley 76 Hostess. That's his rookie card. That'll be, somebody's going to be getting that. This is a 75 Jim Rice SSPC. That's his rookie card. That'll be in there. You got a 76 George Brett. Pretty clean looking. You got a 70, is this 75? Yep, 75 Johnny Bench. 75 Rod Carew. You got Tony Oliva, recent Hall of Famer. You got Willie McCovey here. You got a Willie Stargell. I believe this is a short print from 79. Yep. Recent Hall of Famer, Ted Simmons. You got a Lou Brock from 75. You've got Dusty Baker. Will be going in the Hall of Fame at some point. And you've got Bobby Bonds. So that's just a little bit of a sneak peek of what you can expect from this premium product that I'm coming out with here. Um, go to our website, classicwaxsportscards.com. Uh, there will be a special page for the premium limited batch. And this one's going to be the, the chase for, for Rhino rookie autos. And you're looking at them right here. Those are the four, four autograph cards of Ryan Sandberg that uh, they're going to be chasing. As well as all kinds of other just awesome stuff. The, um, the theme is pretty much 50s through 80s. There will be at least four... 1950s cards in every box so you have one of those 51 bowmen you'll have at least 157 card 158 card 159 card um, every single pack will have at least one card from the either the 50s or the 60s uh, you're not going to see anything from the 90s and 2000s unless it's some sort of um, star or rookie insert we will have some of those in there uh, let me give you a little example here if I can find them. You know, we've got stuff like, we've got all kinds of different inserts and things. You know, we might put something like that in there, you know, or a Top's Finest. I've got a bunch of Fred McGriff stuff. I might throw some of these in there, you know, stuff like this. Top's Finest are hard to find. So you might get an occasional card like that, but not a whole lot of that. It's mostly going to be focused on vintage stuff, a lot of 70s, a lot of 60s, a lot of 50s, 80s stuff as well. But um, give us a try. The last one was a huge hit. They sold out in a couple days, and likelihoods are they, they will do so again this time. Thanks for checking me out. Give us a like and a follow if you enjoy the page, and or excuse me, if you enjoy the channel. And we'll see you next time. Have a good one.